So guys, just cycling to Prossy and this lady said um, she'll give me a lift there. You want a beer, bro? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll shout you, Bree, bro. Yeah, yeah. Fucking, you rode all the way from Melbourne. <laughs> G'day guys, welcome to today's video. You know it's gonna be a bloody hot one when it's only like seven o'clock and you're bloody sweating your ass off already. <sighs> Just cooking some brekkie. Um, just doing that right now. I'm eating breakfast, I mean. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get ready to head out and get on the bike. The road is just over there waiting for me, so. This was a nice spot last night. I really did enjoy it. I got to sleep pretty early and woke up at six, so I got a good night's sleep. And also well rested as well. So I just have my clothes dry in here and check this out. Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey. Up and at him, dude. This little fella has been sleeping on my handlebars. Hey, get out of there. We're heading for, I think it's called Prospines or something like that, which is about 100 k's from here. And that's probably the next major town that has everything we need, like the Woolies and all that kind of stuff. So, the plan is to get there by today. Is Pros, Prosopine, Prosopine, Prosopine. You can always trust the Aussies to cheer you up. I've just been feeling absolutely crap this morning. <laughs> And I just got like two toots from people that were driving past and they were just waving with smiles on their faces and now it's just put me in the most amazing state. I can't believe it. It's just so incredible. <laughs> Must be the Aussie flag. So guys, just cycling to Prossy and this lady said um, she'll give me a lift there. Saves me riding in the heat. I'd like to ride, but if someone offers me, I'm just gonna take it. I don't care. It's hot today. She's got this, uh, this in the barra. Chuck the bike in the back. Yeah, all well, good, thanks, cheers. Come down and we to pick him up. Oh, yeah? Whereabouts was he? The vet or something? Or? No, no. No, brand new one. Oh, I just got him? Yeah, oh. just got him. So he hasn't got a name or nothing yet. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, the cops racing down to him, yelling at him to get out of the car. He managed to get himself and his little dog out, but yeah, everything else went up in flames. Awesome, thank you. No worries. Alright, you enjoy your adventure? Yeah, I will do. Yeah. Yeah. If I say it, I'll be like, oh yeah. 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 Y
was just a genuine person wanting to help out some poor bastard riding through the heat of the day. So I'm happy um, I took it. Hey, this park is pretty cool. It's got heaps of rotundas and also there's power points. I might just chill here for a few hours. I'm definitely hanging around here for longer. They got showers in here. Um, might even stay here tonight. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah, so um, Lee, who, who drove me here, she's a firefighter. So I was talking to her about like the fires I've had around here. And yeah, she was talking about one just recently. There was someone here that ran up a truck, like up the pass of a truck, caught on fire, and then he verged into um, like the side of the road where the trees are, and it just started a fire there. Um, but yeah, um, she just told me about like her story and stuff like that, which is quite interesting. And also, I just bumped into a bloke in this room again, he just walked past. I think he's gone, yeah. Anyway, he's like a trucky, and he broke down just up the road here. And um, he was telling me about how the car or the truck he had like some crap and it was well and truly due for a new gearbox and like five drives ago or whatever and it just broke down and he's stuck here in this town so he's being set up here for the weekend anyway so it's very interesting people you meet on the road but yeah. So I just got all set up, charging some stuff and getting some lunch going and to my surprise I opened up these black beans and they're just disgusting. They're like a puree and it smells awful in there. So I want some black beans with my lunch. Okay, so we, oh, we got more black beans and we're ready to go now. We're set back up. Um, I just had a shower too. It's feeling so much better. So I was over there having a chat to some guys. Um, about just like where I'm going, like um, all the really nice spots, especially some lagoons and uh, water holes and nice swimming spot, like spring water, pristine, amazing places. Yeah, it's stuff didn't even clean off. Anyway, I uh, yeah was chatting to them about like all these cool places I can go check out when I'm heading further north. Here, yeah. first first interaction, first question was, are you heading north or south? And I said north. He's heading south, and he said, if you're heading south, I can take you all the way to Brisbane, something like that. That would have been super awesome, but uh, yeah, so many amazing people on the road here, guys. Just loving life right now. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get this Kenwa chili on the go, and um, knock this down, and maybe save some for dinner. Sounds like a plan, so then I can just eat some more. And probably just gonna do some work here. Yeah, we've got charge, we've got shade, maybe Wi-Fi, need to check that. We're pretty much set here for the rest of the day, so yeah guys, no more riding here today. I'm just going to settle down here, and um, when it gets dark enough, I'll probably just lay on the ground over there somewhere by that playground. We might um, even sleep in it. There's a little tube. Remember the tube in Japan? I might sleep in there. We'll see. So I'm still here guys, I'm pretty much in the same spot, I've probably just moved over to another bench because of the sun, but the sun's less harsh now as it's setting, and I'm still in this park, and I'm probably going to sleep here tonight. That was the plan at like 2 o'clock this afternoon, it's now 6, <laughs> I've just uh, been working away here, uh, so yeah. Hey, come on! Oh, you want a beer? About? You want a beer, bro? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll share it here, Bree, bro. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, come on, come here. Oh, oh, cheers, man, cheers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ride all the way from Melbourne. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll share it here, Bree, bro. Yeah. Can't you walk in? I'm going to share it here for Bree, bro. It is bloody hot, though. Yeah, I'll have to just uh, see me bike up here somehow. Excuse us, come here. Get a nigga down for Bree. Yeah, I'm going to share it here, Bree, bro. Yeah, you want money or me? I told him I'd shout him Oh, you go. Yeah, Melbourne. Hey, where are you from? From Melbourne. He's from Melbourne. He's from Melbourne. Are you still? He's from Melbourne. I thought you must have been an Asian or something. No, no. I'm Aussie. I'm not Asian. Oh, this is so good. Free 
pire. So we're just here in the bistro. I ordered some food. I'm gonna have some dinner. Um, but yeah, I've had about two beers and I'm getting a bit tipsy. So apologies if uh, this was a bit weird and stuff. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have some dinner here. I did get a tip off by Ben, the guy that I met here, that um, like the hotel's going on from here upwards. I lay you to like, I don't know, it's like cheap $15 stay to sleep in the pub. So might be something to consider. <laughs> I don't go too well with beers. Let's see how we go though. But yeah, I'm just gonna have some dinner here, guys, and then um, maybe go sleep in the park by the end of tonight, or um, maybe stay here, see what happens. Might spend the rest of the night here. Head into the dummy here. I'm having another beer with the boys that I met up here at the front with. <laughs> you should check out this toilet, it's so bloody weird. They've got this mirror, it's like a window. It looks like a window. You can see the people out there dining, but they can't see you in. It's kind of like those police interrogation room windows. So when you're taking a pee, it's like you, the people out there can see you. It's funny as. <laughs> I love it. All right, see you later. Right. Yeah. What? Yeah, we're gone. All right, guys, so just left the pub. Uh, old mate's headed home, and uh, I'm gonna head over to that park, I think. Feeling a bit tipsy, so better not ride. But um, I've got to figure out where the park is again. I was going to go out to the cricket ground, which is like two k's. But... Heading back. The town's pretty dead tonight. Oh, I love these old country towns. There's too many lights around. I don't know if I'm going to get a good sleep. It's pretty active too. I was gonna sleep amongst these trees here, but um, I found there's like lights here and stuff, so I might um, go to the cricket ground. Yeah. It, it seems like it's you know out of the light and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It was either that or the uh, the cricket. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a stick or something? Yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah. Yeah, the thing. <laughs> it's like um, this one, but it's longer. Yeah. 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 Is it, are you ticklish? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but it feels so ticklish when yeah. it in there. <laughs> Do you have like the camp gears? Do you build a tent? I have my tent on the back, oh. but I'm not sure if I'll set it up tonight. There's no mozzies out or anything, so I might oh. just um, get my sleeping bag out and just lay on the ground or something. So how old are you? I'm 11. 11. What's your name? Smith. Smith? Do you have any car? Yeah, I have car at home. That I just chose to ride. <laughs> uh, um, just uh, ran into a really nice Aborigine family. Um, I think there was like four kids and um, the mum and dad. And yeah, there was some um, great people. They were very interested in the trip and uh, where I was going, where I was heading and all that kind of stuff, which was really cool. And it was nice to chat to them. Um, yeah, the kids are very curious and it's really cool. Smith in particular, he was 11 and um, yeah, he he just uh, asked me so many questions and it's great to um, see that curiosity within someone, so yeah, it's really, really cool. <laughs> that was them then, just heading off. Right, guys, you can't see me, but this is bloody creepy. I didn't realise the cricket ground was right next to the cemetery. Now I'm riding straight past the cemetery and I'm freaking scared right now. <laughs> Call me a sook, but it's creepy. You have arrived. So 
sorry guys, I just dropped you. Hopefully I didn't kill my camera. Not sure how good the light is. I just ruined my camera. I, uh, all right. Oh, this is creepy. <laughs> I, why is this doing this? Oh my, it's being super creepy, this torch. All right. So for some reason, all right, that's working. I dropped the camera and, um, oh my, I really stuffed it up. Just taking a closer look at this lens. It's dented, battered, bruised, and bent. When I first dropped it, like, it was so bent it couldn't close properly. It has lens error and everything. <laughs> oh my, bike tour camera. She's a beater now. Anyway, guys, I have found... Uh, sorry about the poor camera quality and, like, lighting and crap, but anyway, I'm doing what I can. we got Surly here. We made it to the rugby fields. I can only show you about five meters in front of me. Um, so I just set up behind one of these boxes. I'm just going to set up the tent here tonight. Um, but it's a beautiful starry night. You can't really see much. The moon's out and all that stuff. But yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching today's video. Because if you watch this far, you're a bloody legend. You know, I super appreciate you guys for watching through all of this. It was really cool how tonight planned out. Oh, it was really cool to meet old mates and have a, have a beer with Duncan. Because he's me, mate. Anyway, I don't know. All right, see you guys. <laughs> Bloody hell. See you in tomorrow's video. Thank you for watching. Give us a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, see you later. Bye.